Ring of King Solomon. As you idly study the ring, your eyes suddenly catch inscriptions you missed earlier. Did they just appear? The strange marks look almost like pictograms, but even as you stare at them, they rearrange themselves into a language you can read. King Solomon's ring. The letters morph once more. Demons bow to you, and then one last shift. The hell gate is open. The house quakes. A hot, sickly sweet wind blows through the house. A scream, promising an eon of pain, sounds from another room. You've never heard anything so terrible, nor can you imagine what sort of creature could give voice to something so purely malicious. Except, perhaps, a demon from hell. What you know about the bad guys. Demons are entering the house through a portal from hell. They want to kill everyone. Different demons have different physical and mental traits. You win when you destroy the demon lord. To do this, you must defeat the demon lord twice while you are carrying the ring. Each attack can use might or sanity. Special attack rules. If you make a sanity attack against the demon lord using the ring, add two to the result of your roll. Defeating the demon lord the first time stuns it. Defeating it a second time destroys it. If the demon lord attacks the hero carrying the ring and loses, that also counts as one of the two defeats needed. If you make a successful sanity attack against any other demon using the ring, you gain control of that demon. You can control more than one demon. You can move it and attack other demons or the traitor with it during your subsequent turns. If another hero takes the ring, he or she controls any conquered demons as well. If the ring is dropped or stolen by the traitor, all controlled demons become uncontrolled. If you defeat a demon or demon lord but don't have the ring, you stun the monster as usual. 